Hi everyone, welcome to the 3D surfacing channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a bike mechanism. So, you can see here, I have a pedal, and as I turn it, the rack wheel turns. So, alright, let's go ahead and make this. So, let's close this off and make a new file. Go new and pick your units. Make sure you pick your assembly. We'll start in assembly. We're going to create a skeleton model. Okay, let's turn on the planes. All right, so we're in assembly, and I'm going to go start off with a skeleton model. Uh, skeleton model is basically a part model, but without any mass property. It's just a reference geometry, and it's great to plan out your, your, your product and load in your unit template and let's get started all right so we activate this one okay so in assembly if you activate this part you're gonna go into the modeling mode for that part and we're going to start by creating the frame so I just go to sketch and sketch on that plane and my frame will be 100 mil from the bottom so I'll put 100 here and go ahead and draw your frame so let's draw something like this let's make this horizontal here and bring it back down here and if you want you can put in a line here as well is that enough let's leave it there for now okay now I'm going to create okay, let's go to the front all right pretty much go ahead and start assembly creating the geometry for the axis for the wheel and the chain rail I'll go ahead and create a circle you hold out to you click this line you can draw draw make it that a reference and draw on that so I'll draw two circle here and make that the same size I'll make that uh, maybe, um, 40 30 and for the more add another circle, circle on the bottom here as well and I'll complete that, I'll go to extrude now, switch to symmetry and let's make that about 40 and I'll leave it as a surface so we can see through it so I'll create that extrude because it automatically creates a axis for me and that's the axis is very useful when we are um, adding components um, mechanism relationship okay so there you go that's good all right so now uh, we have a skeleton to create multiple skeleton you look you gotta turn on a configuration okay so it's called multiple skeletons allowed click yes so just just go add, type that command in, put on yes for here, and that will let you create multiple skeleton. At the default, you only can create one. But to create a skeleton, you're just gonna be in the assembly mode, click create from here, not from at the top, and you have a skeleton model. And I'm gonna go create the wheel now. Wheel scale. Let's go ahead and do that. Load in your template. At first, just put on default, and I'll go ahead and draw the wheel now. To model within the wheel part, you need to activate that. So go there and let's go create a sketch and draw our wheel. All right, so we need to snap on here. Hold ALT, click on this line, make it a reference. Now you can draw the wheel, I'll draw the wheel here, I'll make it 320 and looks good, 
and I'm gonna draw in the spoke line as well so we can see it rotating when we spin it okay so I'll make this 45 and there you go it looks fine alright for our wheel there's no axis here we need an axis here to snap it to there so what I'm going to do is create an extrude here and draw in an extrude to make this a reference hold LT click there and draw a line and I'll make this 30 except and switch it to symmetrical and I'll make this around 40 I think 40 or 30 switch it to a surface so we can see through it and currently this one's activated press ctrl a to activate the top level and so we can when we go edit definition of the wheel we will be in the assembly complace assembly component placement mode and we'll use a connection we can't click pick any connection because there's a a, a um constraint already we clear that and we can use a pin so this will we're gonna assemble it that based on a pin a pin relationship is basically a wheel rotating around that axis and we also have the translation constraint where I'll click on that axis zoom in there's another axis underneath I'll click on that one and we also click this plane and this plane so basically a pin connection spins around the axis and it aligns on the plane click apply that and go, go ahead and go to the drag tool and now you can see that the wheel is spinning so that's the wheel it looks fine and next we'll go create the chain ring here so we're going to use the template for that as well so go ahead and try and use skeleton model chain ring and click OK and again just place it on default right click so it sits on origin and make sure you activate this so you can model go into the model environment for that part so I'll go ahead and create an extrude here and hold LT to create that reference so we can draw on it and I'll make a chain ring of this size make about 80 right, right click pick OK and I'll make this symmetrical let's make this about 15 I'll leave this as a solid doesn't really matter but uh, let's keep it simple put it as solid now and um, we want to go assemble this with the bike so activate the assembly to go assembly mode and we go edit definition to assign a, a mechanism relationship so we'll make this a pin as well so basically a pin will rotate around let's find our axis yep a1 here and the translation so it's gonna be constraint to the same plane and I'll click apply that and if you spin that around you can see that spin as well but we'll uh, have a look at that later and we're going to create one more thing we can create a chain ring on the back so back chain ring back all right so so when create a new file we're gonna place it somehow and constrain it by default and let's apply that and we're going to model the part so make sure you activate that part go ahead and extrude click on that plane and here create another extrude and I want to place it on here hold LT click that to load that, that as a reference and I'll create a circle, circle shape chain ring here Hmm, let's make that 50, maybe less. Alright, let's leave it as 40. And click OK. Let's 
make that symmetrical. And 20 here. Alright, so we're making these things because it's going to be the belt's gonna wrap around those surfaces. And there you go, we have another part. And one more thing we need to do is for the wheel, we're gonna go add the chain ring there as well. And we need to activate to go in modeling mode. And here I'll go to extrude on that plane. Right, let's try that again. Press Ctrl D and go extrude, put it onto the front plane here. Okay, let's get set up. Alright, don't worry about that too much. Okay, so we're here and load in the reference, and then draw a circle here, and I'll make this 40. Alright, so we're nearly ready to create the belt. So let's do a 20 extrude and apply that. Alright, so let's go ahead and use the mechanism tool and that's in the application tab, turn on mechanism and I'm going to use the belt tool. So I'm going to show you how to assemble with a belt for this bike. Simply click the button and hold control and select the appropriate surfaces. Alright, so we can select those two, that's loading up. And you can see here there's a symbol here, that oh, that's a pin connection that we created. But there's not none here, so if I press control select that one, let me select that surface. What I need to do is go back and put in a pin connection on this part. So I'll go and activate. Alright, actually not activate. We need to go edit definition and put in a pin connection there. Remove the existing connection, go to pin and put okay let's select the axis hmm, why can't I select the axis So let's try that, that again, edit definition, clear default constraint, switch to pin, and assemble the axis. Oh yeah, so make sure you put cursor on the axis, and put it with the other axis. And now the translation, we need to sit that plane with the frame front plane and we'll go ahead and click OK and now let's go ahead and apply the mechanism let's turn on the belt simply select the surfaces and you can place it there you can flip them hmm, maybe not all right so we'll keep it like that and there you go and we simply we drag this component now and uh, I'm not sure you turn off the datums and all right, go to the dragger component, select the wheel, and now you can see that it's turning. There you go, that's the mechanism tutorial. And we can do, I'll make this shape more interesting so we can see that it's spinning so I'll just t edit definition of this one I'm gonna activate that one actually before that I'll show you how to make the belt a part so we can do go to application go to mechanism for the belt here right click and make a part and what this does is creates a new part file 
load in your temp, temp, uh, unit template and you would assemble this so place it somewhere right click put on default click apply and you have a new part here what you can do you can open that up and use the sweep tool to make that a part so sweep tool when you do this you need to hold shift and select to continue selecting and click here to create the cross section and you just go ahead and draw your cross section profile here so it's a belt so I'll make like this about 5mm thick and 10mm wide and create the sweep there I'll accept that and there you go that's your belt so if I close this off make sure you save close this off and you, you can see the belt there and one more thing I'll add a interesting shape here so you can see that it's spinning activate that or just open that up and create another extrude on here turn on axis and load in that axis and what I'll do I'll bring in a hexagon shape and there you go I'll make this bit bigger and click OK you can create that as an extrude and that will allow you to see the movement when I drag it now so there you go alright let's see if this works alright select the dragger tool here click this and as you can see the components are spinning so that's the tutorial on the bicycle mechanism how to use the belt mechanism the pin connection as well and also how to use skeleton model as well okay so uh, before we finish i'll show you how to create a part from the skeleton model so to model the, the part from the skeleton you need to open that up turn go to model intent publish geometry and you need to publish this geometry to reference that from the other part so create a publish feature and now if I create a new part now and you can name this wheel click OK and place it on a default constraint click apply and now we we can do is activate this model and then you can use copy geometry so skeleton is a way of using references from your skeleton to create parts and uh, you can create ma manage a uh, complicated model so with that done you can go sweep and create a wheel go sweep click on the rail and draw the profile let's make that 13 and apply that and activate the top level and I'll go ahead and, and now you can see the wheel so there you go alright that's enough for today uh, uh, hope, hope you have a great day see you later